Hello friends. Today we will learn how to pull data from NSA India website. We'll, we will try to pull option chain data from NSA India website onto an Excel spreadsheet. Normally for an option trader the calculation part is very important and to have a ready head hand data onto Excel we can calculate a lot of uh, values be it as intrinsic value of a strike or the time value of a strike or else if you want to make an option pain calculator or we could use the black scrolls formula and if put onto the spreadsheet we could also have the delta vega theta and rho values which is actually useful for our trades here is how we are going to pull the data the first thing to do is to go to NSE India website on website uh, we go to equity derivatives and option chain this is the option chain data of nifty uh, we choose a company say we take reliance and yet go we uh, now we now can see the option chain data of reliance industry for the august month expiry now we copy the url and we go to our excel sheet now uh, for this program we'll be using excel macro and to use excel macro and on microsoft excel we require a developer tab to add developer tab in the ribbon we go to excel options and under popular tab we click show developer tab in the ribbon and we click ok now the developer tab is visible this developer tab is used for recording macro or editing the macro or the coding now we go to home now the url that we copied we base it on cell 1 of column a we go to the formula bar and edit uh, by putting a prefix url to the copy url on cell 1 column b we put the name of the company we also change the name sheet name of the sheet 1 to options now we start our coding we go to the developer tab we click on record macro now the excel program asks me to name the macro we will put the option pull as our macro and click ok now the excel has started recording the macro now, uh, to pull data onto an excel spreadsheet there is a feature called da uh, pull data from web we go to data ribbon and we go to from web and in the address bar we paste the url that we had copied now we can see that option chain data of reliance web reliance industry is visible for the month of august and uh, here we could see a yellow color arrow box which we need to tick and now it turns into yellow tick, uh, green tick after this we go to options tab and we disable any sort of date recognition or web query re redirections this is required in case if you are using those values and uh, you don't hit any possible web uh, website redirections we uh, click ok and we import the data 
so importing the data excel now um, excel has asked us to uh, to where to put the, put that data before that we go to properties and we deselect this hs column with settings and we click ok then we go to sheet 2 and select cell 1 of column a and we click ok now we can see that the reliance data for the month of august has been copied to our spreadsheet sheet 2 at this moment we are done with half of half of our coding or half of our program so what we do is we go to developer tab and we stop the recording there are few changes to automate this system onto one click we need to do uh, some sort of adjustment so the first ad adjustment is to delete the sheet additional sheet these are no longer required and now we go to the developer tab and go to macro we can see the option pull macro the coding in which, in which the coding is done we go to edit and we can see the coding of our program uh, we don't need any of these end with after so we delete it and uh, we'll be adding a few coding here so please bear with me and copy down the coding as it is provided we first define a string okay now we select the worksheet we have named the worksheet and options so i have written options and we have set uh, we, have, we need to put select to for the program to select that sheet now we need to activate that sheet so for that we need to again type in the code in which is this and dot activate we have take uh, we have selected the sheet and we have activated the sheet now since uh, we have we have copied the url on cell one of column a we'll provide uh, the string that we are defining my str as to have a value which is stored in uh, cell one of column one okay now uh, we will be defining a new string this string is basically to put name on the sheets that are being created so we will give the value to the string as cells <coughs> now we have, we have put the company's name in on cell one of column b so here we'll put one comma two so that the program take this value as a sheet name now we need to add a workbook a worksheet so we add uh, we give the command we do the coding as add and uh, after sheets then worksheets dot count dot name which will be equal to str now we have added the sheet need this so because we have already provided provided the url uh, on uh, cell one of column a we don't need this we we'll simply put my str here so that every time it goes and looks after the cell one of column a for the destination url and since we have deleted sheet 2 we will not be needing this as well our coding is done now we'll simply save it now we'll put a button here with which we 
we or uh, we could with which we could automate our system or automate our program onto just one click. Now uh, the button is asking us to provide a macro for us. Uh, the option pool is a macro that we are going to provide to that button. The option pool macro has been uh, assigned to this button, and we'll simply change the name of this button. Once that is done, our program is complete. Now we need to save the program. So while saving, we need to keep uh, certain things in mind that because we are we have used macro here, we cannot save it in a simple workbook or Excel workbook. We'll have to select macro enabled workbook and change the name of the program or and we'll save it on desktop. Now our option pool program has been created. Now is the time to test the program. We simply click pull data and we could see uh, another, uh, another spreadsheet has been created with the name relax. To verify the data, let's see we take 740 strike and the quantity is 2000 or say 468.7 is the ask price. We go there. 740 strike 2468.7 is the ask price so it's confirmed the program is so good that we could change the URL and we could add any companies uh, or we could pull any company's data for that we need to only go to the NAC India website choose another company say we take Enforces we take Enforces and we click Go and you can see that Infosys is here. We simply take the option pool URL and we go to the cell one and simply copy paste and add. Okay. Make sure that the URL prefix is there. Now we change the name of the company and we simply click pull data and we can see Infosys option chain data has been pulled so we say we take 100 1100 strike with 600 ask and 399.7 so we go over there we take 1100 strike 600 is the ask 399.7 is the ask price so it's confirmed any number of uh, option chain could be pulled with this program onto excel you only need to change the url and the company name. Hope uh, this Excel program finds you interesting and valuable. Thank you friends 